There are some technique differences if you play the violin and you want to learn how to play the Hardanger fiddle. This is a Hardanger fiddle, or a Hardingfele Pomorsk, or Hardingfele in Norwegian. And it is a different instrument than the violin. A couple of the differences are with the bow technique. I like to use a Baroque bow, not fully tightened, but I also like to use a regular classical modern bow. I definitely play with a much looser bow than I play classical violin, and this helps me play really flat hair. You don't really need to bounce when you play hard on your fiddle, spiccato or anything. You can have a looser bow. I also like to use a different bow than my classical bow because the D string on the hard on your fiddle is usually wound on the top and it's a bit scratchy, so I don't want to break up the horsehair of my classical bow that I use. So this is just kind of an older bow, but it sounds just fine. The reason I like the Baroque bow is that it's much lighter, and one of the differences I would say between violin and hardanger fiddle is the hardanger fiddle, I like to think about pulling the sound from the instrument as opposed to adding weight to produce sound. It's such a resonant instrument that if you try to push too hard, well, first of all, it just doesn't respond well and it'll scratch like that. <laughs> but I like to just draw and use quite a bit of bow, but a nice light bow. When you play the Hardanger fiddle, if you're using either a Baroque bow or a traditional modern bow, you don't necessarily have to use the pinky very much. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I'm not always using my pinky. The pinky for classical violin is great for bow lifts and playing at the frog, but you don't really need to do bow lifts or play just at the frog for the hardanger fiddle. Some people play with a shoulder rest. I don't use a shoulder rest for hardanger fiddle because for classical violin, when I use a shoulder rest, I like to shift and vibrate. But the hardanger fiddle, you almost always play in first position. So you hardly ever shift. You don't necessarily need all of that support. Your fingers are just staying in one spot. The hardanger fiddle has slightly lower lower action for the fingers. You don't necessarily have to press as hard as you do on regular violin. The finger spacing is a little smaller than on the violin because the string length is slightly smaller because it's also slightly higher than the violin. So that's something that might take some adjustment in the beginning of learning how to play the Hardanger fiddle. Another technique, there's some trills and whatnot that are different ornamentation than you would play on the violin. I would say the biggest difference in technique is in the right hand, in the bow hand. So I like to play with a looser bow and flatter horsehair that prevents me from bouncing and just remembering to not add a lot of weight when you play, but just think about bow speed. So instead of this, just kind of feel stuck, think. And I think your instrument will resonate even more. Ta-da! 